You know, what I love about the United Methodist Church is that we are not islands. We are so connected, and it's so beautiful to see the connection that we have in the United Methodist Church. It's, it's neat that I can go to coffee and have several of my, of my colleagues come with me. It's neat that I can pick up the phone to another United Methodist Church on the other side of the country and get somebody that will help me with something. It's like we have this strong connection. And when I come to annual conference, it's the greatest joy. It's like this huge family reunion that we can connect with each other and find strength. So the connectivity of us, and also the other big thing is the grace, the amazing amount of grace that's there, the grace that's, that people realize that they're not just so focused on their own ministry, but how they can make a difference in the community. That's huge. My biggest hope for the United Methodist Church is that each of us, clergy and lay, can wake up each morning with Matthew 6.33 on our hearts. That is, seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. I also feel like if we, if we just ask God, what is the most important thing I need to do today? That God will reveal that to us, and I believe we can work together. I think the last two years, while they've been challenging, have also opened up so many opportunities for us to reach people. I want to tell you about a lady named Shirley. Shirley was homebound for 10 years, never going beyond her mailbox. She had been burned by church, burned by society, just not wanting to connect with anyone. Yet she started watching our worship services. And even though she lived in a different town, she started watching us every Sunday faithfully. When we offered Bible study, that we could do disciple Bible study through Zoom. She jumped at it, started doing disciple Bible study. Then she joined a Sunday school class through Zoom, all electronically. It was awesome to see that. She started tithing to the church. She started bring, having her husband bring food up to the church for special programs or for special ministries. And last Sunday, the sunrise service, Shirley drove herself to church. And that was huge. And she came with her daughter and her great-granddaughter, sat outside and said, I bet you're surprised to see me. And I said, it's the greatest gift to see you here on Sunday morning. So I believe Shirley's of the world can be connected by the technology that we're doing. They can, we can reach out to people like that. We can make a difference. We have making a difference. If we just embrace the technology, there's things we can do to change the world.